So once we've identified our transgenic mosquitoes, we need to bring them into the insectary and rear them. Of course, you would need to make more of them. So you can see here we have these trays, and this is where we house the larvae. And we'll grow up the larvae in here, and they stay in this stage for about 10 days. Eventually, they reach the pupil stage. And the pupil stage, you can see, we even have uh, maybe not so many pupae here. We have pupae here. So these small ones, which are bouncing around like little balls, these ones are the last stage of the, of the larvae. And once they're ready, they're going to emerge as adults. And we have the adults here. So once we have our transgenic mosquitoes that contain the gene drive, we want to separate them into males and females and mate these to wild mosquitoes. And we want to see if we have a heterozygous gene drive mosquito, does it transmit its gene drive to half of the offspring or to more than half? And we obviously hope that with the gene drive, it's going to bias its own inheritance and that the majority of the offspring will contain the gene drive. So once we've crossed, uh, crossed our mosquitoes together, we put in some egg bowls, we get as many offspring as possible, and we screen them one by one and count exactly how many contain the red fluorescent protein and how many don't. And this will give us a really good estimate of how effective the gene drive is, how well it spreads, and then in theory we can release this into a small cage of wild mosquitoes and we take just a couple of our gene drive mosquitoes with maybe a thousand wild mosquitoes and monitor it generation by generation screening how many contain the gene drive looking for this red fluorescent protein and how many don't and what we see is that each generation the gene drive increases in frequency and a higher and higher and higher proportion of the mosquitoes in that cage become our modified mosquitoes and over time because the modification sterilizes them they begin to mate to each other and produce sterile offspring. At this point, you can have a population suppression, which is hopefully what we're going to have when we release them in the wild.